Hello, sports fans and baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with another Phillies game, um, and it's going to, as you know, I'm playing the card and dice for the Phillies, and then I have the uh, computer simulate everybody else. And let's take a look at the standings. We are about to play the Brewers for the fourth game of a series against the Brewers, and let's take a look at the statistics. Now, as you can see... Um, we are terrible. We're 4-15, and 15, and we're going into game 20 of our season at 4-15. and 15. Arizona is only a tad bit better, and um, no one is worse. Now, that's kind of odd. That struck me as being kind of odd that we would be that bad that the Phillies would. <coughs> Excuse me. That the Phillies would be that bad. So I did some digging. And this is what I came up with. We, um, so far, the teams that we have played through the first 19 games of the season have a combined record of 58 and 32. And the, the combined statistics of the pitchers that we have faced so far through the first 19 games have a 287 earned run average and a 114 whip. So that, my friends, is exactly why we are 4-15. and 15. So before I get into the game, we'll take a look at our statistics. Um, as you can see, we're four and fifteen, one and four record at home, three and eleven on the road, and this game will be on the road. Um, and uh, let's take a look at our primary stats. You can see as a team we're hitting two ten, but it's not surprising that we're hitting two ten because we're going up against a combination of starting pitchers so far that have a two eighty seven earned run average and a one fourteen WHIP. So we're hitting two ten with only. 15 home runs in 19 games. And our uh, team ERA is 432. Um, we've allowed 161 hits and 160, almost 169 innings. Pitching-wise, we're really not that bad. In fact, we're right around the middle or even a little above the middle of the league for earned run average. It's the hitting that is really terrible. And you can see we, I mean, you know, Harper's hitting 270. After him, everyone else is below 250. So I only have four guys hitting 270 or better. Um, and that's exactly, that is our problem. Now, this last game against the Brewers, we are facing Brett Anderson. And we have faced, he is one of the pitchers we have faced before. Now, coming into this game, Brett Anderson has pitched 23 innings, allowed 19 hits, walked 8 guys, and has a 391 earned run average and a 117 whip. So, as pitchers on this particular list go, he's somewhat pedestrian. He is, and that's not to say he's bad. I mean, a 391 earned run average is, meh, you know, but a 117 whip is pretty good. But that is still a little higher than the average, which is a, of all of these pitchers, which is a 114. So if we're going to win, uh, you know, if we're going to get our, our um, fifth win of the year, it better be here because it isn't going to get a lot better. And now let's take a look at the schedule, too. I want to take a look at the schedule. As you can see right here, we are going up against Brett Anderson. But... The next game we have, the next series we have, is against the Miami Marlins. And uh, the Miami Marlins spanked us to open the season. They have, the, they have pitchers on their list that we've already faced. In game one, we will face Trevor Rogers, And Trevor Rogers has a 154 earned run average and a 137 whip. In game two of that series, we will face Eliza Hernandez, who we have not um, uh, played against yet. 
Um, and in game three, we're gonna we're gonna get Pablo Lopez, and Pablo Lopez has a 318 earned run average and a 109 WHIP. And let's see if we're still in that series after that. Um, no. So then we have a day off. So we have a three game series against them. Let's take a look at. Um, Let's take a look at that uh, picture that we're going to face. Um, team stats. Let's go down. So who else are we? Oh, we're going to face Eliza Hernandez, and he has a 270 earned run average and has allowed six hits in 10 innings and struck out 14. So he's only allowed... Um, He's only allowed seven guys on in ten innings, so he has a, a sub one whip. So it isn't going to get very easy here. I mean, we could very easily lose all three of the net of those games to the Marlins again. And so we got to hope we really got to hope we beat Brett Anderson because we could be staring at like um, what is this league stats? Let's go get the standings again. Uh, we could really be staring at like five and eighteen uh, when when we get our game off and then play someone else. So that is exactly why we're four and fifteen. That I mean that you don't have to go. You don't have to. It doesn't take you know a rocket scientist to figure it out. The team records of the teams we've played is fifty eight and thirty two, and the pitchers that we've faced have a combined two eighty seven earned run average and one fourteen WHIP. So we've been extremely unlucky in who we've been facing and how they've been, how those teams have been doing, and that is why we're as bad as we are. And so with that, let's get on with this game against the Milwaukee Brewers. So here we are. We're ready to start the game. Hopefully, we can win this one. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're coming in. Like I said, we're coming in four and fifteen, playing the thirteen and five Brewers. And um, the lineup for the Phillies will be Roman Quinn in center, McCutcheon in left, Harper in right field batting third, Hoskins at first base batting in the cleanup spot, number five will be Baum at third base, Real Muto will be the catcher batting sixth, Gregorius will bat seventh and play shortstop, then you've got uh, Goslin at DH, and... We will have Neil Walker playing second today. So hopefully we can win with this lineup. I hope. And we just lost another dice. So we have to draw we have to do another one. I've lost two dice in the last two days over the edge of that table. Now I could probably go retrieve them, but I'm not gonna bother to do that right now. Five eight for Roman Quinn, and he would be batting right, and that's gonna be a strikeout. So Anderson with the K, and hopefully we don't keep losing the dice. I mean, that's the reason for a dice trick, is so you don't lose the dice. 5-4 for uh, McCutcheon, batting right, and that's going to be a fly to center. Their center fielder is a 1-E-2. That is a 13, so we will check that out. Um, so it's, uh, we're going to look at the E2 because it's not on the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. No, wait. It is a 13? Okay, no, it is. So that is a fly ball B. So he flies out to center. And the next batter is Harper. Harper with two down here. And he gets a 6-8 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes out 4-3. So far, we are the same old Phillies. No runs, nobody on, nothing good at all. <laughs> and our pitcher today is Vince Velazquez. And he'll be dealing to Lorenzo Kane leading off in center field. Yelich batting second, playing left. Urias at third base, batting third. The cleanup hitter will be Vogelbach, the DH. Peterson will be at first and batting fifth. Eric Sogard will bat sixth and be at second base. Ben Gamble bat seventh. He's in right field. R.C. is at shortstop batting eighth. And Narvaez, the catcher, bats ninth. 
And that's going to be a 5-2 batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Our first baseman is a 4-E-16, and that is a 17. Hopefully that's an out. Where is first base? Okay. That's a 17 and a 4, and that is going to be a ground ball C. So he's out. Ground out three. That brings up Yelich. Yelich gets a 1 9 against a righty. That is a strikeout. Velasquez striking out his first guy of the game. And Urias. Luis Urias, and he gets a strikeout. So two strikeouts there, a good inning for Velazquez. No runs come in for the Brewers. Nobody got on. No harm, no foul. And we're going to um, Hoskins here in the top of the second. And he gets a 1-3 batting against a lefty. That is a ballpark single, and it is a single. So we got, and the ballpark single is only 1-2, to two, So and we rolled a 1. So it was very fortunate. And it's a hit given up by Anderson. And uh, Alec Baum is the batter, and he gets a 3-9. And that's going to be a fly ball right field. One away. The old F9 and Real Muto is up with a man on and only one away. And that is a 1-5, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. Okay, so now maybe we got something going. Maybe we have a little bit cooking here. That's the second hit, and there are runners now at the corners with one out, and Gregorian is up. And he gets a 3-10, and that is going to be a line out to the shortstop. So he lines out six, and that brings up Phil Goslin with runners at the corners and now two down. And he gets a 5-7 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. So uh, Anderson gets himself out of that mess with his second strikeout of the game, uh, ending that inning. And we go to the bottom of the second. And Vogelbach is the batter, Big Dan Vogelbach. And uh, he gets a 5-7, batting left, that is going to be a walk. So Vogelbach gets on. Velasquez with his first man allowed on and, and his first walk. And Jason Peterson is the batter, he gets a 2-10, that is a strikeout. So Velasquez strikes a man out. Like I said, our pitching, really our pitching is not that bad. It's our hitting that needs to come around. Sogard gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. Pop-out 6, and Gamble is up. And he gets a 6-7, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corner. Vogelbach goes over to third on that. Velasquez with his first hit allowed. And up steps Arcia. And Arcia gets a 4-3 batting right. And that's going to be a fly to right. He is a 2. That is a 2. 2-2. Two and two. Let's hope that's an out. It is not. It's a single double asterisk. So he knocks in a run. Arcia knocks in um, Vogelbach. And runners are still at the corners. And Narvaez is the batter. And he gets a 4-6 batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. So he finally does get us out of the inning. But um, a run comes in in the bottom of the second. We go to the top of the third where the Brewers lead it one nothing, And Neil Walker is the batter. 
and he gets a 5'11", and he would be batting uh, right, and that is going to be a catcher card, X. The catcher is a 3E5, that is a 14. And that's going to be a pop-out. So pop-out to the catcher for Walker. One out, and Roman Clark. The amazing Quinn gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. And McCutcheon. McCutcheon is up, and I keep dropping dice all over the place. And that is going to be a 6-10 for uh, batting right, and that is going to be a ballpark single, but it won't be. It's not a ballpark single because it didn't come within the roll and so it is actually a fly ball to center so we're going to the bottom of the third down one nothing Lorenzo Kane will be your batter and he gets a 410 batting right and that's going to be a strikeout Kane with the K that's the fifth strikeout for Velasquez so he is smoking people Christian Yellick is up. He gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. He is smoking people, but he's also losing. So that's the important thing. Urias is up, and Urias gets a 2-9, and that is a strikeout. He struck out the side. Velasquez showing the smoke, the senior smoke, but we're in the top of the fourth and losing 1-0. Uh, Brett Anderson is proving to be a tough customer, even though uh, so far this year he has been pretty pedestrian. Harper is the batter. He gets a 4-8 batting left, and that's going to be a single. So we've got another guy on. It's amazing how infrequently we get runners on and that we can't ever, ever, ever put anything together. Reese Hoskins. Hoskins gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. One away. You see what I mean? We just can't string things together. We, I mean, we don't. We almost never do. Alec Baum is up. He gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop double play. So that's a 6-4-3 double play, and we're out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Now, to be honest, the Brewers against Velazquez haven't strung many things together, but they haven't had to. 5-8 um, for Vogelbach is going to be a double. So Vogelbach is up at second. Uh, double allowed there. Jace Peterson is up. He's got some power. They're going to let him back because they've got a guy in scoring position. He gets a 5-7, and that's not going to be good. That's a walk. So they've got two runners on. Second walk for Velazquez, and up steps Sogard. Sogard gets a 1-7. That is going to be a single and load the bases. So the bases are loaded with no outs. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that. Gamble is the batter with the bases loaded. 1-5. That is going to be a walk and forcing a run. And it is now 2-0 Brewers. Orlando Arcia up. He gets a 4-12. Batting right. That is going to be a double. And score two more. And that moves Gamble to third, and we're going to get somebody up in the pen.
Adam Morgan is going to warm up in, in the uh, bullpen. Narvaez is the batter. Runners are at second and third. And that didn't quite get away, so that's good. 3-4, though, is another walk and loads the bases. And Velasquez with the walk. Lorenzo Kane. Kane gets a 4-5 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a 2-E-20. That is an 11, so let's see what that is. 11 and 2 at shortstop. Nope, we got to go to the 20, and that's not going to be good. 8 on an E-20 is going to be a double play. It is a double play, but another run scores on it. So um, Gamble does come in to score, and that is a 6-4-3 double play for the first out, or the first two outs of the inning. And uh, another run comes in, and actually, let's see, one, two, three, four have come in this in at four, so he's allowed five. And that is going to be it for him. He's going to come out after three and two-thirds. And we're going to bring in Morgan. Yep. So Morgan will be the new pitcher. Velasquez is out. And Lorenzo Kane is up. And that is a 3-4 against a lefty. And that is going to be a home run. So that is just a... Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. No, I'm, a guy did go to third. A guy did go to third on that double play. Right? Yeah. Arcia went to third. So Arcia scores on that uh, home run by Yelich. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three four? No, three four. Uh, I was looking at the wrong guy. So that is not a home run. That is, in fact, a. Um, it's an out. So it's going to be a fly ball to center field. So that was Yelich. So Arcia did not score. Um. No, he didn't. So, uh, only, let's see, four runs come in there, just four. So, we're down five nothing. And we're going to the top of the fifth. And Brett Anderson is just cruising. Real Muto is the batter here in the fifth. He gets a 6 7 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 3E15. That is a 19. Um, 19 and 3. That is a ground ball. 4 to 3. Gregorius is up. And he gets a 6 3 batting left. That's going to be a fly ball to right. Their right fielder is a 3E1. That is a 15. 15 and 3 is a fly ball C. So that's a fly ball 9. And Goslin is the batter. I really hate this, how these dice keep getting away. 2-8, uh, and that's going to be a... Uh, that is going to be a single. So Gregorius is on with a hit. And uh, hit allowed by Anderson. Of course, we've got to come up with five runs, so we're a long way away. Gosling is the batter. He gets a 310. That is going to be a 
single double asterisk. So we've got runners at the corners, got a little bit of a threat going. And Neil Walker. Neil Walker gets a 3-7. That's going to be a ground ball B. But um, is that the... Uh, wait a minute. No, Walker had the single. According to this, Walker had the single. So Quinn gets a 3-7 three, three is a strikeout. So that is the third out. And uh, Anderson with the K... And no runs come in in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, losing five, nothing. RC is up against Morgan. And he gets a four, five, RC does, or uh, Uri Urias does. And uh, four, five for righty. That is gonna be a strikeout. So Urias with the K. Morgan strikes out his first guy of the game there. Dan Vogelbach. Vogelbach gets a 6-4. Um, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop is a 2-E-20. That is a 9. 9-2 nine at short is going to be on the E-20. That is a seven, and that's gonna be a ground ball A, so six to three. And Peterson is now the batter with two down. And he gets a 112, which is a, a uh, hit by pitch. So he's aboard. And the batter is Soga. And he gets a 110, and that is going to be a single to left field. And he's two for three today. First hit allowed by Morgan. And Gamel up. Gamel gets a 1 5, and that's going to be a walk to load the bases. So. With two outs, they had a miraculous comeback, something we can never seem to really actually do. And um, Morgan walked a guy, and that brings up Arcia. And Arcia gets a 5-8 batting right. That is going to be a walk and forcing a run. Shocker. And Narvaez is the batter. And he gets a 2-7 against a lefty. That's a walk and forces and a run. I'm leaving. All right. And so let's see. Walk. Another run. And Lorenzo Cain, and he gets a 6-9 batting right, and that is going to be a double and knock in two runs. So it just keeps getting worse, 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 and worse. Um, that scores Gamble and Arcia. And Yelich is the batter. And he gets a 212, which is a ground ball double play to second base. A 463 double play gets him out of the inning, but not before he gives up his own set of what have I got here? Four runs, four more runs. So it is nine nothing going to the top of the sixth inning. Doesn't look like we're gonna win this one. 
I mean, I could be crazy, but I don't think so. McCutcheon is up. He gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a um, strikeout. McCutcheon strikes out in the sixth. Anderson with his fourth K of the game. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper gets a 3-6. That is going to be a walk. Anderson walks his first guy of the game there. Reese Hoskins. Hoskins gets a 3-5. That is going to be a strikeout. So strikeout for Anderson. Fifth one of the game for him, and Baum is up. And Baum gets a 5-2 batting right. That is going to be a home run. Two-run home run for Baum. That was a ballpark homer. He got it. But that's only two runs, and we're now losing 9-2. to two. Real Muto. He gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a walk. So we're, we're putting something together now, but it's a little late after you've already given up nine runs. Didi Gregorius gets a 4-11 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to first base. And that is going to be it. We got two runs. We're losing 9-2, going to the bottom of the sixth. I'm going to keep Morgan out there. I don't want to burn up our bullpen. Urias is the batter. He gets a 6-4 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2-E-20. That is an 11. 11 and uh, 2. That's going to go to the 20. That is an eight, and it's a ground ball. So it's six to three. Urias goes out six three here in the bottom of the sixth. Vogelbang is up with one down, and he gets a three seven, and that is going to be a strikeout. Morgan strikes out his second guy. And Peterson's up. Peterson gets a 6-5 batting left. And that's going to be a short stop. He's a 2-E-20. That's a 9. Um, that's going to be on the 20. That is an 8, and it's an out. So it's a 6-3. So he gets out of that inning. Uh, no runs allowed. It's still 9-2. We're still in bad shape. We go to the top of the seventh. Goslin is the batter. He gets a 6-5 batting right. That is going to be a ground to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 2-E-10. That is a 17, probably an out. And it is 6-3. One down, and um, Walker is the batter. He gets a 2-7, and uh, that is going to be a fly to center. And that brings up the amazing Quinn. And he gets a 6-4 batting right. And that would be a ground to the shortstop. He's a 2-E-10. That's an out. 6-3. No runs come in for us in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And uh, our it looks like our futility is going to continue. Now, uh, Morgan, I guess, will let's see. He went, there was three and a third. He came on with, one, with two outs in the uh, fourth. So he went one third, two and two, two and a, he went two and a third. I guess we'll take him out after that. Two and a third, we're going to take Morgan out. 
and we will bring in um, we'll bring in David Hale. He can go to the rest of the game. And Sogard will be the batter to face David Hale. He gets a 3-3 three, three, um, against a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. Ben Gamble is up. He gets a 1-9. That is going to be a strikeout. Strikeout for Hale. That is his first. And that brings to the plate Orlando Arcia. And he gets a 1 9, and that's a ground ball to the pitcher. No runs do come in for the Brewers there. We are losing 9 2, going to the top of the eighth. Um, they will take Anderson out. So Anderson only pitches seven. Could have pitched more. I mean, he had a lot more room to give up a lot more runs, but um, that doesn't really matter. Um, so let's see. They're going to bring in Drew Rasmussen. Rasmussen in 2000, in, the, in 2020, projected to 1-1 one one with a 523 earned run average in 43 innings. That's what Strat says he would have done based on what he did. Andrew McCutcheon is the guy who will face him, and he's got a 3-2 against a righty. That's a fly ball to center. To lead off the eighth, and uh, Bryce Harper is the batter with one down. Another one got away. One six, though, is a strikeout. Rasmussen with the K. And the batter is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins with a 4-9 batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. No runs come in for us. We're only going to have one more inning to get at least seven runs and maybe more than that. Hale is still out there, obviously, and he'll deal to Narvaez. Narvaez with a 5-7 batting left. That's a strikeout. Lorenzo Cain. Lorenzo Cain gets a 3-8. And that's going to be a single. Yelich is the batter. Yelich gets a 5-7 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. That is the third strikeout for Hale on the day since he's come in. Urias, Urias gets a 6-9 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He's a 2-E-20. That's a 19. That is going to be an out. run. So uh, no runs come in there, but we need seven right here. Top of the ninth, we have to have seven runs. Seven runs are bust here. Alec Baum is the batter to lead off against Rasmus. He gets a 2-3, and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. That brings up Real Muto. He gets a 2-9. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3. And Gregorius is the batter. We need to start a nine-run rally right here with Gregorius. He gets a 4-6 batting left. That is going to be a uh, ground ball second base. And so we lose this game as well. We lose it by the ripe score of 9-2. 
And uh, that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off as this miserable Philly season continues.